we have settled into life in Maine and learned that you must live by nature's rules out here. The tides and wind dictate everything. We are in awe of it all. From the thickly wooded forests providing endless hiking trails to the traditional seaside towns, feeding frenzies at the water's surface and rolling hills serving as a backdrop for Sunday afternoon regattas. Join us as we explore the woods of Vinyl Haven, then set off through some of Maine's most staggeringly beautiful cruising grounds. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We sold our home last year and moved aboard our Sea Wind 1600 Catamaran Wanderlust. Over the past year, we've sailed the waters of South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas, shaking down our new boat. We're now setting off on our journey to harbors unknown, exploring the world and connecting with people and places through the local cuisine. Subscribe now to join our voyage. Might be wondering why we're in a canoe and our dinghy is on shore. Well, we got maimed. <laughs> We were at our friend's place last night and we thought we planned uh, to, you know, the right placement of the dinghy. For the tide. <laughs> For the tide. But we did not and we got beached. <laughs> <laughs> so our friends loaned us their canoe and we canoed out to the boat. <laughs> and we just came in now to take Yoda for a walk. And hopefully the dinghy will be unbeached in a few we hours. Hope so, yeah. <laughs> Wow, so you collect them when they come yeah, up on the beach. When they wash up on the beach. That's so cool, the lobster pot <laughs> teepee. <laughs> Lead the way, River. Yep. You got it. We like to take Yoda for a walk at least once a day. So this morning, our friend Jonathan's kids, River, Van, and Rocky, with their nanny Aggie, were guiding us on a nearby hike in the woods of Vinyl Haven. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down 
strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care 'cause I am on my way up, and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. <laughs> Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. So we just got back from the hike and the dinghy, dinghy is floating. So now we can get back to the boat. <laughs> If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're going to meet, who you're going to meet, who you're going to meet. The words in this song are very true. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna meet. We met Jonathan and Deborah on one of the worst days we've had. There's no need to rehash details, but just know, It was a bad day. But their energy and enthusiasm was so real and infectious, we were drawn to them. Thanks to social media, we've stayed in touch, and that chance meeting has turned into such an amazing experience here in Maine. Good morning. Today we are leaving Vinyl Haven and we are headed for Little Cranberry Island. It's just off of Mount Desert Island and it's supposed to be a super cute place with restaurants, some art galleries, and overall just a really cute town and place to explore. So it's about, I think, 30 nautical miles. So it'll take us probably about five hours to get over there because there's no wind. But that's okay. Um, we're just excited to be heading out. We've been here in Vinyl Haven for a week now, and we're ready to move on. So let's go.
We're taking the scenic Deer Isle Thoroughfare, a narrow passage at times only 100 feet wide, leading along the south side of Deer Isle. The passage joins Jericho Bay and East Penobscot Bay and is one link in the chain of inland passages. On the north side is the busy fishing village of Stonington. On the south side are the granite quarries of Crotch Island. Fishing has always been part of Stonington's heritage, but the town flourished with the granite industry in the late 19th century. Stonington Granite built parts of Rockefeller Center, the Smithsonian Institution, Boston's Museum of Fine Arts, and several New York City bridges, including the George Washington and Triborough. However, the granite industry declined and the town returned to its fishing roots. Now, the epicenter of the lobster industry, Stonington's hundreds of lobster boats landed almost 15 million pounds of the crustacean in 2018, more than any other port. Stonington's identity is that of a year-round working town, a fishing town, an artist's enclave, a nature lover's paradise, and a place with a well-preserved traditional way of life. Inevitably, we caught a lobster pot on one of the rudders. Luckily, it didn't get caught in the prop, and Fabio could easily raise the rudder and the pot floated away. It was absolutely incredible to see the frenzy of birds, fish, and dolphins at the water's surface. Seeing the chain of life firsthand was a special experience and made me feel connected to the natural world. There's dolphins! Before we knew it, we were passing the western portion of Mount Desert Island, and soon enough its shapely hills came into view. Thousands of years ago, a huge, slow-moving continental glacier over a mile high, almost two miles thick in some places, covered the land. When this giant glacier finally melted and retreated, it left rounded and bare mountaintops, elongated ponds and lakes, many boulders, and the seven-mile-long Somme Sound. At 108 square miles, it is Maine's largest island and second largest on the U.S. eastern seaboard. The Bear Hills were a stunning sight and so different from what we'd seen so far. It was a beautiful Sunday afternoon, so we were greeted by a number of sailboats racing around the harbor. Their colorful spinnakers set on the backdrop of the hills was an absolute treat. Northeast Harbor sat nestled in the hills and we slowly made our approach to the mooring field. Shortly after we left, we decided that we were going to head for Mount Desert instead of Little Cranberry Island because we've got some weather coming through tomorrow. It's going to blow 25 to 30 knot winds and Cranberry or Little Cranberry Island is kind of exposed. 
So we decided to come into Mount Desert Island and we are at the Northeast Harbor Marina. We're on a mooring and it's absolutely beautiful, super protected. So we were psyched that they had a spot for us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.